Hello guys, welcome to Zinc Ultra Scale Plus MPSoc development. We are from Digitronics Nepal. So we already have completed section first and section second. Section first is introductory and architecture section. Section second is actually a session for creating basic MR system projects. That is, we have created some Hello World application for ARM Cortex A53 and Hello World application for ARM Cortex R5. So those projects are tested in the SDK terminal and in each time we need to upload that project to Jink Ultra Scale Plus Ampishak Development Board. So the section 3 is that session which actually generates the necessary files system files for creating custom bootable systems so we are going to create some files for processing subsystem so those files can be included in process of creating custom bootable files that means we don't need to upload each time the same Hello application because we can include Hello application with FSBL first it is bootloader and create a bootable file so that bootable file can be inserted into SD card of Jink Ultra Scale Plus Ambisoc Development Board so that board and that processing subsystem will boot the necessary files from SD card that is first it is bootloader and Hello application so section 3 is that section which actually allow us to or guides us to create a bootable software system that bootable software system need to have some user application and first stage bootloader or different other methodologies are also there so initially we have some overview of building software for ps subsystem with vivaro sdk and pedal linux actually we we are going to utilize vivaro sdk as well as pedal linux tool for generating the necessary files and those files are used for are going to use for creating bootable software so creating bootable software that is compatible in sd card so lecture 2 is lab 3 1 that is example projects so there are in lecture 2 we are going to have idea about creating bare metal application project in sdk and lecture 3 that is lab 32 is actually uh exam projects of creating linux image using pedal linux so lab 31 is based on sda using first bootload and parameter application and lab 32 is based on pedal linux so we are going to utilize some pedal linux commands that pedal linux commands need to be inserted in linux terminal actually pedal linux support some distros of linux so actually we are going to test with linux distro is ubuntu and you can also try it out with centos fedora and Red Hat. so in section 3 what we are going to do is we need to we need to have first step bootloader and application projects as we can see fspl project is also available in sdk so we are going to create some fspl projects using some template at there and we are going to include application project which we have created in the previous section that is hello world application project and finally create the custom bootable files which can be plugged in sd card so here is our lecture first so lecture first tells us about we are going to utilize some hardware definition files for creating some software for processing subsystems so the main objectives of our section is build and configure the software components that can be used in future applications so we are going to configure or we are going to create the software applications which are going to use for creating custom bootable files and we are going to describe the build steps for a specific ps subsystem so we are going to show up all the necessary steps for creating bare metal application creating linux images so output of this section will be first bootloader bare metal application and linux images so there are different processing system subsystem inside that zinc ultra scale plus mpshock those are 
APU, RPU, GPU, and PMU. We already know about that. And we can have multiple type of software that are first stage bootloader might be one option. Another can be bare metal application. Another can be like platform management unit firmware. And another thing is Linux images and U-boot. So this Linux image and U-boot must be generated or, or can be generated from Peta Linux. So it will need different Linux distro. That means Linux version of operating system and install Peta Linux in that system. So we can only use Linux and Peta Linux for this section and other sections are going to test it on Vivar 27.4 and SDK same version in Windows environment. So this is the overall possibilities or overall options available for creating software that is FSPL2 Linux images. So in lecture 2 we have lab 3 one so that is example projects create a bare metal application project in SDK. So in this lecture we can have multiple type of possibilities so we can create initially first stage bootloader for apu that is a53 cortex and we can also create a first stage bootloader for r5 rpu and we can create a bare metal application for apu and bare metal application for rpu and pmu firmware so while on creating first stage bootloader we are going to utilize jink mp fspl project template while we create the new project new application project in sdk there is a template available in named of Jing MP FSPL. So we are going to just click on this type of template. Initially, we have just clicked the Hello World template. So it is like Hello World. We are going to click the Jing MP FSPL project template and initially design for APU or initially customize the template for APU and then we are going to customize for RPU. And these three and fourth possibilities are going to use hello world application which we have created in section 2 and just previously created fspl first stage bootloader so it it these two sources are necessary for creating custom bootable files or custom bootable system that can be operating system some sort of operating system so fifth possibility actually uh, in the fifth possibility we are going to select processor psu pmu zero so in these two sections one to four we are going to select corresponding processor that is apu and rpu for specific target device so for pmu we have to select this psu pmu zero device that is processor and we are going to create jink mp pmu firmware project template so this project template includes the necessary files for customizing this or configuring this psu pmu zero platform management unit so these are the five possibilities which are going to utilize on sd platform actually we are going to use the vivado project which we have created in the early of section second so that vivado project we have exported to sdk in section second so we are going to just utilize that exported project from vivado and we are going to create some new settings on SDK session. So under the Vivado, the project is same as we have did in lab 21 in the previous section. And we are going to do the operation in SDK as the current requirement. So that, that is, we are going to create some positive bootloader initially for APU, positive bootloader for RPU separately. And we are going to write or uh, create the bare metal application, which includes positive bootloader and hello world application. And we are going to utilize similar application for RPU and another project for PMU for platform management unit using PSU PMU zero processor and Jink MP PMU PMU for firmware project template. So we are going to have a project in Vivaro, and after then, after then, what we have is we have another lecture. So that is lab three two. Actually, in this lecture, we are going to have session on Peta Linux. So this last 32 is based on Peta Linux. So uh, we are going to have basic Linux image for SD card methodology and another methodologies 
creating Linux image using Beta Linux for QSPI flash. So there are two methodologies. And for this lab 3.2, we are going to utilize Linux OS machine and Beta Linux 2017.4 or earlier version. And we are going to use some Beta Linux commands. Actually, there are lots of commands which are stated in UG1144. And those commands are instantiated or inserted inside that terminal. And we are going to build the necessary yes uh, necessary files for sd card and qspf class is we have started here two methods so creating linux image with pedal linux there are two methods one is for utilizing sd card method and another is qsp flash uh, so guys uh, thanks for watching until this session we are going to continue in this lab 31 session so we are going to start off with creating first bootloader for apu then rpu then bare metal application for APU, RPU and PMA for for PMA and between other lectures. So we'll continue on. Bivaru. Thank you for watching.